You're here because you liked Space Marine 2 so much that you've probably been staring at the Warhammer.com web store and going, Wow! They sure made the Warhammer 40k starter set. That's perfect for me. It's got Space Marines, it's got Tyranids, it's got a ruined city. I can't wait to spend $210 after my next paycheck. Stop. Wait. Consider me an angel, an angel descending from the sky like a space marine with a jump pack. But instead of a chain sword, I have another box. No, this box is not the Warhammer 40k space marine board game they sell at Target. This box is Kill Team. Kill Team is the small scale skirmish game where you and your elite squad of the baddest little guys in the galaxy are duking it out against unstoppable odds. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's just Space Marine 2. You want to reenact holding the line against countless waves of Tyranids with your Ultramarines? Kill Team's co-op mode has you covered. Don't have friends? It has solo play. Want to be sweaty in multiplayer? You can take your Ultramarines chainsword out and compare its size with your friends Iron Warriors. In October, Kill Team is getting its third edition and everything is looking incredible. It's all looking like an upgrade with newcomers in mind. And in this edition, Space Marines actually look pretty good. Why not Warhammer 40,000? I hear you ask. Just kidding, I'm not answering that yet, because if you really want to get into 40k, the big game, that's fine. You can start here and still decide you want to go play 40k, because starting with Kill Team will start you off on the right foot, because you know what Kill Team needs. One box of guys. That 210 starter set that you were looking at for 40k, you can get a Kill Team for 60 bucks, the price you paid for Space Marine to get nearly two whole teams. If you and a buddy go into a GW store and you both paint up your free Space Marine that they'll hand you when you walk in, you'll have six base marines each if you buy the box. That means you're only spending about 30 bucks each. Get the kill team essentials and maybe some train and make your own. You're there. But before you go and spend money that I'm not going to receive a single cent of, let me tell you about Kill Team. Kill Team ultimately is like a tactics game similar to XCOM. You're moving around your operatives from cover to cover, sneaking in concealment until they pop out and engage the enemy firsthand, either with ranged or melee weapons. And in the process, you're fighting over key objectives. Objectives, ones you share with your opponent and ones that your team only has an interest in achieving. This can look like a Space Marine squad setting up a defensive line against a Tyranid swarm in co-op, or an elite squad of guardsmen quarreling with Chaos Legionary Space Marines over who can secure a key artifact in competitive multiplayer. Games are super quick too, no four hour games, it's only going to last about two hours. If you were to jump right into 40k, you might buy that 210 ultimate starter set and that gets you a plastic ruler, cheap dice, a Matt, rules that you can get online, mediocre terrain, and less than a thousand points of each army. So to play 40k, you're not even bought enough to even play the game yet. You could play Combat Patrol with those armies, but if you Google, is Combat Patrol good, you'll find articles talking about how great value Combat Patrols are for building a 40k army, not playing Combat Patrol. So if you want a 40k army, expect to be shelling out at least 400 bucks. So if you're really desperate to play 40k and want to make an army of Ultramarines, Guess what? That Space Marine Intercessor box I told you to be getting for Kill Team is going to be a great addition to your 40k army. And while you wait to have the budget and time to build, buy, paint hundreds of Space Marines, you can go and play Kill Team every week with your friends and have a grand old time. And if you want the fantasy of fighting Tyranids, you can go get a box of Tyranids for co-op. Or go give War Games Atlantic $35 for 30 bugs that look like Terminids from Helldivers. That's also cool too. You still here? You still need more? Okay, speaking from experience with Kill Team's second edition, which third edition is only a slight change from, I love this game. It is one of the best, if not the best, competitive tabletop game rule set that is out there right now. It is incredibly well balanced, it's fast, it has low model count, and really favors skill expression over expert list building. You can't outspend someone at Kill Team and win. Convinced? Great. The new edition comes out in early October so you can get building and painting a Kill Team now. Check out this chart to see which teams are being ported over the new edition. I'm gonna wait on this for a second. Read, look. You can find it online too. Okay, cool. With Angels of Death, those are the ones that are the all-encompassing Space Marine team over in the middle area. And pick one. Pick one of those teams. You really can't go wrong. You could go and learn Kill Team 2nd Edition if you wanted, but as of this video upload date, 3rd Edition will be out in just a couple weeks, 3-4 to four weeks. So, you gotta build the team, so do that now. Want to watch before you buy? Go watch Mountainside Tabletop's battle reports. They're the best Kill Team battle reports in the world. 
get a sense of the kind of shenanigans you're going to be getting up to. I'm Venture Minis. Let me know what kill team you're getting into in the comments. Find me on Instagram. Goodbye. <laughs>